YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Dion back at it again with another how to video. This time it's going to be how to do a quick setup for replay buffer so you can get those clips at higher quality than what you would off of your streams. Let's get right into it, baby. So, the first thing you want to going to do is go over to your settings because I want you to go through into your recording settings to get ready to set up the replay buffer. But the first things first, head over to replay buffer, make sure to hit enable on replay buffer so it go ahead and turns it on. Now the next thing I would tell you is replay time is how long you want those clips to be. So you have to remind yourself anytime that you're going to start putting out a clip or recording that clip, you're gonna to wanna to have a specific time of how long you want that clip to be. And you can set this at any point in time, however long you want it to be, it's however many seconds, and it'll determine how much memory you're using for that specific clip. Now I have mine at 45 seconds, so that way when I go into edit it on DaVinci Resolve, which if you haven't watched my previous video on how to use DaVinci Resolve to edit your clips, here's the chance to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and check that out. So with my 45 seconds, I'll edit down my clip in DaVinci Resolve, chop it up however I feel like doing that, add bits and pieces to that clip, and then post it out on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case may be. Now the next thing I will do is go into general, and in general, you're going to want to go to where it says output after you scroll down. And there's an option for automatically start replay buffer when streaming. So as soon as you hit start streaming, replay buffer is going to turn on instantly. So that way it'll be able to record your clips at any point in time. Whenever you hit a button, you press a certain key bind, whatever the case is that you have set up for this. So if we're going to go back over to recording. Now, the biggest thing with recording, if you go here, this is also for any clips. This is for anything you're recording this is where it'll show where it saves that so i have a folder already set up for tiktok clips so whenever i hit the button that i have specifically set up on my stream deck that it will automatically do the replay buffer save it into that specific folder and it's there for whenever i need to go back and access it now you do have options to rescale it if you want to it's like 1440 or 1080 for streaming or like 720 or if you want to drop it to 720 you have that opportunity to do so and there's also the encoder settings for these clips that you can change which I personally have a CBR on rate control. My bit rate is high on this to ensure that I'm getting the best quality possible on my clips or recordings. So that way when I go to upload them, they come out at the best quality possible. Now this is also based on, just like with streaming, bit rate is also based on your internet connections and speed as well. So you wanna make sure that it's not too high, that it's gonna throttle anything when you're recording, if you're streaming at the same time. If you record a clip, and you're streaming at the same time, it can cause a bit of disruption at times. It can, may cause you with an encoder overload because it's trying to do too much. So if your clip is so long, plus on top of that, you have this high bit rate, you may run into those type of issues. So be careful with that as well. Now, if you go over to hotkeys, this is where you'll see, you know, your different sources and your overlays and all that good stuff. And when you go down a little bit further, you're going to see start and stop replay buffer. So with this, you have the opportunity, if you don't have like a stream deck or anything like that, you can actually type in a specific command that you want to turn on the replay buffer or turn off the replay buffer. There's also, if you scroll down a little bit further, there is a full replay buffer section, which is to save replay. So if you already have your replay buffer turned on and you're in the middle of streaming or anything like that, you honestly have the opportunity to set up a key combination or key bind that's gonna allow you to record that specific clip that you want to be done if you don't have a stream deck. Now, if you do have a stream deck, I can actually show you guys what that would look like when you have it set up. So right here, I have the option for replay buffer save. Now, this is already over here on the stream deck. So you just have this option right here for replay buffer save. You click and drag that over. You can change the title if you want to, whatever the case may be. And when you hit start replay buffer, let me go ahead and cancel that real quick. Start replay buffer, open this back up. That'll disappear the, the words that were right here that said to turn it on. So I'm gonna hit this button and you're gonna see down at the bottom left of the screen, it's gonna tell you that the clip has been recorded. Let's go ahead and hit that button here. And as you see replay buffer save the TikTok clips and then it has the total name and the date and time and when it was done. And that's really it. It's very short, it's very simple. A lot of people were kind of confused as to how it works. And I've been asked a few times in my kick streams, which be sure to go ahead and drop a follow kick.com slash adion. Also make sure to sub to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other how to's, gaming videos, whatever the case is that we may put out on this channel. If you have any other questions, be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you have anything else that I can help you with. If there's certain other streaming questions you may have that I can help you out with, and I'll be sure to do the best I can. All right, I'll catch you on the next video.
Peace.